Oh, I cannot believe I'm about to say this. I'm quitting van life. I'm just kidding. I'm quitting this type of van life. After two years of doing winter van life to snowboard, I am through. Listen, winter van life was great, but to be honest, mentally, I was my worst self. Winter in the van was hard, and I'm finally listening to my body, and I am doing things a little differently this winter. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to my house. It's been a second since we've been here. So let's get comfy, grab your popcorn, grab your drink, grab your tea, because we're going to have a little chat. So if you want to come over here, we can sit. <laughs> oh, it has been a whirlwind. Um, ever since Otto died, I really haven't shared a lot. I feel as though I've grown more as a person in the last year ever since Otto died than I've ever grown in my entire life. When you're alone and you're in a tiny secluded space and you have no idea what you're doing and you're tasked with the role of finding a safe place to park every single night, um, getting water and electricity and finding a place to dump your trash and taking care of your animals and X, Y, and Z and having a job and a remote, you know, position and finding internet and you have a lot to worry about every single day. But then when you throw in relationships, grief, loss, friendships, work, um, you experience a lot in a short amount of time. And I feel like we just have so much to catch up on. We're going to be here for a little bit. I'm excited to share pretty much everything that's been going on. Let's start with what happened to Otto. This is still really difficult for me to talk about. I feel like we're coming up on the year mark, which blows my mind. Otto has been gone for almost a year. I can't even fathom. Like sometimes I'm scrolling through my camera roll and it feels like a fever dream that he was ever in my life. You know, do you guys feel like that too? Sometimes when you see something or someone or a memory in your camera roll and you're just like, I was special enough to have that happen in my life. When I got the cats, when I got the boys, when I lived in Chicago in my apartment, November of 2019, I never expected that I was only gonna have auto for three years. And I'm gonna make an entire dedicated video all about everything that happened to Otto because I learned so much during this process. And I learned that no day is promised to you. You could wake up tomorrow morning and, and realize that you have a terminal disease. And it is so important to do what you want to do while you can still do it. Because like I said, you no days are promised. And so in the comments when I was reading all about Otto's life, everyone's like, you gave him lifetimes of life. And I'm so grateful that I was blessed with, with the, with the <laughs> opportunity to, to have him be my pet and for, to show him the entire world. It's been tough to create content focused around cats ever since. Um, I'm getting back into it. I'm finally so back with it. I'm so excited to share so much more about what we've been, you know, going on with Atlas the last couple of months. <sighs> it's so funny because when you don't want to feel sad and when you don't want to feel feel, <laughs> you try to feel a different way. And so that's essentially what happened when, when Otto passed is I, I grieved for a very short amount of time. And then I threw myself into whatever I could throw myself into, which included a not so great situationship that, that on both parties, we were just so toxic to one another. I didn't want to feel sad about Otto. So I decided to feel sad about something that I had control over the effects, the things that happen after something in your heart just like explodes just give yourself a break one of the things i'm really proud of with myself is i finally have found the people the women they are my friends for life like when i tell you i have found my my group i found my people and i have focused so heavily on just cultivating these incredible female friendships um, where we're rock climbing we're hiking we're backpacking um, we're skydiving we're jumping out of planes and i'm just so grateful to have these adventure women in my life so i did a lot in colorado i celebrated my birthday with um, some amazing people we we did a sunrise hike to one of my very favorite areas called blue lakes in colorado I celebrated my 31st birthday there Welcome to the morning of my 31st birthday. We are at one of my favorite spots in Colorado and I'm like and then from Colorado, I did the hardest hike I've ever done. I did the four pass loop from Aspen and it was, I think 26 miles, I think like 8,000 vertical feet gained all on four um, 12,000 passes. And it was truly the hardest thing I've ever done. I'm so grateful that I did it, but holy shit, did that take every ounce out of me. Okay, that hike actually wasn't as bad. 
And then I started heading north to a place I have never been before. And we went to Canada, which I'm doing a whole video on that soon. Oh my gosh, Canada was the greatest place ever. Like, oh my God, I mean, it is incredible. And then I flew from Calgary to Austin, Texas because I got hired by my old position to teach all about social media on stage. It was the coolest experience ever to come back. So I taught about my social media journey and just everything about the van, adventuring, the cats. I taught it in front of 1500 people on stage. It was the coolest experience. Then I flew back to Canada when it was over and then started heading towards Washington for fall where again, I feel like the universe really places people in front of you that need to be in front of you because they're going through similar situations. And I was still dealing with a lot of loss, a lot of sadness, a lot of grief. And I ended up meeting up with an incredible crew of people that I really didn't know that well and became honestly lifelong friends. And we did so much backpacking. I mean, I'm talking, we, we spent the night at fire lookouts. We spent the night um, next to lakes, next to massive mountains. And from Washington, I had two really incredible opportunities to go to South Africa, where I don't know if you guys know this because I haven't shared a ton about it, but I host women's retreats. And so the entire month of October and November, I went to South Africa where I hosted 40 women, two back-to-back -back trips, and we toured all across Cape Town and then up and down the coast. And we, we dove with sharks, we um, swam with penguins and seals. We went to vineyards, to a safari. We were able to go to the Rugby World Cup final parade where, where South Africa won and people were losing their minds. And then I came back to America and I decided I needed a break. I was losing my mind a little. I was so burnt out. I, I was dealing with a lot of emotions that I decided to book an Airbnb for a month and a half in San Diego. I was through with winter van life. Um, I've done it for two years. I did not want to do it again. I want warm, warm, warm. I have been nomadic for almost four years. I haven't had an address in four years. I haven't really had a flushable toilet all to my own in four years. And I wanted to give that as a gift to myself because this lifestyle really does weigh on you. But I'm happy to report that after a month and a half of being in an apartment in San Diego, I am through. I am so done with it. I am over it. I cannot live this way. But the good news is, is I am prepping my van because me and Atlas will be going to a place I have never been before, and that is Baja, Mexico. I'm so excited. I do not know what I'm in for. I do not know what to expect. So if you have any suggestions, any wrecks on Baja, Mexico, please send them my way. But I'm so excited. I'm so, I feel like I have now catapulted myself into a new era of the van for me. I appreciate my home so much. I appreciate this lifestyle so much. I appreciate you and following our journey so much. And I'm excited to now share long form content with you because it's something that I wanted to do. And then everything happened with Otto and I'm just, I'm finally ready. I'm finally ready to just be really open and share the next adventures um, with me and Atlas. So thank you for being here. Thank you for coming along on this journey, this crazy, wild, wild journey. Um, I love and appreciate you all so very much. Thanks for this catch up. Thanks for this catch up. I hope you have an amazing week. I'll see you next week.